southern and eastern China are bracing for heavy rain as the remnants of a powerful typhoon head their way. Now, the typhoon has been downgraded to a tropical storm, but it is still packing a punch. Satellite images from NASA show just how powerful it was when it struck the Philippines over the weekend. The storm covered most of the country's territory, and it churned up strong waves that capsized a ferry carrying hundreds of people. The spokesman for the Philippine Navy has confirmed a Navy ship uh, combined with the Philippine Coast Guard was just uh, off the uh, wreckage of the Princess of the Stars. They tried knocking at the keel of the ship. This is the exposed bottom part of the ship. And they've been trying to knock if there would be any survivors or possibly trapped inside, but there have been no replies. Now, the Navy right now and the Coast Guard will attempt to, uh, with the assistance of the U.S. Navy, the U.S. Uh, Navy ship uh, Stockham is uh, arriving uh, anytime soon or anytime tonight. They would attempt tomorrow morning as soon as the break of dawn, they will attempt to dive and try to check if there are any survivors or they would try to retrieve if there are any bodies inside the ship. So something like uh, what they've seen on the Poseidon Adventure, they have to bore a hole at the bottom part of the ship that's been exposed right now. As of now, it's official. They were able to retrieve about uh, 34 people, uh, survivors of that ferry. Uh, 28 was, uh, were uh, uh, washed the shore yesterday afternoon, close to uh, close to the sunset, uh, about some uh, 100 kilometers from the area. They were they were pushed uh, by the uh, huge waves into an island, 100 kilometers east, uh, northeast of where the ship sank. So a total right now of 34 survivors. And that was freelance reporter Dean Bernardo in Manila.